Hi, this is David with Reiko Runts, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a database using the FitPro software for use with your port account, and then uh, retrieve the data and uh, download a report from your fit test data. So the first thing we're going to do in the FitPro software is create a new database link. Uh, at the top of the window in the software program is a tab labeled database and we'll open that and underneath the change active header you're able to select a new database link. Uh, we'll do a Microsoft Access database and we'll click the new link button and we'll name it whatever we want so this will be Rico Rents and I'll save that to the desktop for convenience. And create new database. So once you have the new database link, you can verify that it's saved by checking at the top of the window uh, for the file name. And uh, the first thing we can do once we have that is start adding in the people that are going to be fit tested. Uh, so you'll start that by clicking the uh, new button and we'll add in the last name, uh, first name, um, and pretty much have to fill in any of the fields with an asterisk next to it. Even if you don't have an ID number that you use, you can just give yourself a number um, and then save that. And uh, if you need to add in more people, you can go ahead and hit the new button again. And we will add in another person. And save them in as well. And you can verify that these people are being saved by opening your people list at the top. And you can add in any of the of other uh, fields that are available to you if you feel that you need to. Um, and once we have all of the people set up that we need, we'll add in the respirators that they're going to be using. And it's the same process for that. We'll create a new respirator, do uh, MSA. And usually for a full face respirator, it's a 500 pass value, so we'll use that. And again, if you're going to be doing more than one respirator, you can add those in as well by clicking the new button and adding those in as well. So once you've added in all of the people and the respirators that you needed to for running your fit test, uh, we can then transfer the database and all of the information that you inputted to a flash drive so that you can use it with the port account. So we'll do that by going to the database tab and we're going to go to data record tools. And so we're going to look at the record source which is going to be the database that we created and choose the record destination as well. Uh, you can look through and make sure that everything that you've saved is going to be transferred correctly. Uh, it shows up in this uh, main section up here. You've got your people, respirators, and any available protocols including ANSI and OSHA. Um, and uh, once you verify that that's all in there, we'll change the record de destination to flash drive and we'll look for our removable disk and save this as a port account database. So once you have that, you go ahead and hit the export button and that'll save everything to the flash drive. So when you uh, turn on the port account with the flash drive connected, all of the information is available on the port account then. So once you're done running your fit tests, we'll come back to the FitPro software and to download the fit test data that you just ran on the port account, we're going to go back to the database tab at the top of the window and we'll go into data record tools again. 
and we're going to pick the record source as a flash drive this time since it's saved on the flash drive now. And we'll pick the database file that we created earlier. And then the destination we can change to the database that we also created on the computer earlier. And when we import that, everything should transfer from the flash drive to be saved locally on your computer. So once it's done importing everything, we can then generate a report. Uh, we'll back out to the main screen on FitPro and go to the report tab now. And we'll select a report. And we're going to generate a fit test report in this case. Um, so when you select that in option in the list, if you check at the report details at the bottom, you can verify that all of your records are there and then view the report. And as you can see, it shows you for each portion of the fit test what the result was, um, whether it passed or failed. It's got all the information about the user and the respirator on there and includes a fit test card that a lot of people are looking for. Um, and from here, you can either print out these reports or if you prefer to save it electronically, you can choose the uh, PDF writer that's on your computer, either through a uh, PDF writer or the Microsoft XPS document writer. And um, once you generate that, you can save it to your computer uh, for future use. So that's how you set up a database for your port account and then download the data to generate your reports when you're done with your fit test. If you have any more questions for us, feel free to give us a call anytime.